What's going on everyone? Austin John Place here and today we're going to be going over the new Pokemon and new Pokemon forms available in the Crimson Bog in Pokemon Legends Arceus. <laughs> Now that we're pretty much all set with the Obsidian and Field Lands as we can be before we get into additional Pokemon rides, now it's time to start getting into videos on the Crimson Mire Lands. This is the second area that you're gonna get access to in Pokemon Legends RCS located right over here on the map. And the first thing I wanna go over is that I'm gonna be showing off three Pokemon forms that were not advertised in official media or anything. And I asked you guys on a poll here and also on Twitter how you felt about showing them in the thumbnail. And I decided to keep it masked on the evolution screen so that way in case you want to be surprised on you know what they are in the thumbnail I don't want you to just at a glance be spoiled however you're not gonna know how to get at least one of these three all right so the three Pokemon that we are going to be needing for this are Petalil who I have an alpha Gumi who I hunted a shiny for and Ursaring who I hunted a shiny for pretty excited about these three Gumi is honestly during X and Y, I really enjoy playing with Gumi and Sligu, but when it came to Gudra, I just felt like it was too slow or just, it didn't work for me. Petalil, I've never played with Lilligant whatsoever, and Ursa Ring was always a very powerful Pokemon, but now it gets a third form, which is pretty exciting, and he's just gonna sit down, ain't he? Going forward, I'm just going to be randomly talking about these Pokemons and showing their forms and whatnot and things like that, so if you consider any of that a spoiler, you might want to add this to your watch for later, and that way we don't need to worry about it. Great. First things first, I need to talk to the professor, because I'm pretty sure I just hit nine stars before even leaving the second area. Perfect, I'm now a nine star member. From this camp down here, which is the bog bound camp, which is by the way, a side request that you need to unlock after defeating three stunky, go to that area. You'll figure it out real easy. We're gonna be making our way and just hop this river down here in the gate draw bog. And right here is going to be a bunch of Lilligans or Petalils and they're gonna be very easy to get. In addition, while we're here, you could also find Gumi and over there, you can find an Alpha Hisuian Sligu. So, boom, we've knocked out how to get uh, Gumi and an Alpha one already. And to find ourselves Ursa Ring, we're going to go to Ursa's Ring. It should have been obvious on where Ursa Ring was. From the secondary camp, we literally just run straight, and then there's going to be one Ursa Ring surrounded by a bunch of Teddy Ursas. If we just progress a little bit lower, should be there on the right. Yeah, here's all the Teddy Ursas, and there's the Ursa Ring. If you want to get a Teddy Ursa, there you go. If you want an Alpha Ursa Ring, easy peasy. If you want to get an Alpha Teddy Ursa, you do need to complete the story of this area. And also, there is a regular non-Alpha Ursa Ring in this corner right here. So you could just get a regular one if you want. I don't know why you would when you could get the Alpha. Now, first up, Gumi. Gumi's evolution line is the same as it has been. It just needs to reach a certain level for it to evolve from Gumi into Sligu. Soon as Gumi reaches level 40, it could evolve to Sligu at any time. But of course, you know, you could go catch that alpha one. And then Sligu, once it reaches level 50, as long as it's raining in the game, which you could just sleep spam to make it rain, you could just highlight Sligu and click the evolve button. And there we go. There is our Gudra. This is the shiny one. And I do believe the biggest change to the shiny version of Gudra is that its shell is sort of bronzish colored instead of sort of metalish colored. I'm sorry, what? What was that icon in the top left? Gudra, number caught. And then number you evolved, egg icon. What's the egg icon for? Is that a placeholder when a Pokemon can't be found? Do they not have the shiny Sligu in the game? I'm only on version 1.0. I didn't update to 1.0.1. I mean, it's showing me the regular and the shiny version. The shiny version has that big old bronze circle there and it appears here. So I'm not really too sure what's going on. And if you didn't know, the Alpha Sligu that you catch is going to be level 50, which literally just means that you can catch the Pokemon. As long as it's raining, you can evolve it. Oh, it. OK, now it's back in the ball. Great. Now it can evolve. There we go. There's our Alpha Gudra. That is a big boy. And that is our Shiny Gudra. Oh, he, he's in this, he's in the thing this time. No, I want you to, I want you to stand up, please. Thank you. Look, wow, that's, 
That's a big difference in size. Can, can they speak? Can they have a little combo? Yeah, there we go. That's that's the difference between... Uh... <laughs> oh, thank you, Gudra. I do need to switch up my Pokemon or buy new items. <laughs> Riveting conversation you guys are having. I do want to let you know a little heads up. If you are going for an Alpha Dex, you are going to have an opportunity to find a Alpha Gudra in one of the later areas. So if you want to grind it up now or just catch that Sligo and evolve it right away, you could definitely do that. But you can catch a Alpha Gudra very easily. Okay, well, I don't know what that was all about. Oh, he went into the shell and he's clipping through his own model. <laughs> Next up, Petalil. This is what an Alpha Petalil looks like. You can do this with a regular one. And for Petalil, it's gonna be the same thing it's always been. You're just gonna get the Sunstone. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I would like to... I got too much stuff on my inventory. I need to go pay the guy for more inventory space. Sunstone, which I got my Sunstone from one of the Time Space Distortions, but you can definitely get yours from either the Time Space Distortion or you can also get it from Redeeming Satchels. I do think it's funny that when you're evolving an alpha, you don't really have like a frame of reference of the size, so it's just like a generic evolution screen. And this is the new Lilligant. I've never used it before. I believe it's grass and fighting, right? Yeah, grass and fighting. I don't really know its stats. Oh, it's definitely a physical attacker, that's for sure. I do know that this is the Frenzy Noble of the area. I'm going to be trying this out on my team instead of Torterra and uh, seeing how that holds up. Also, I don't really have any fighting type Pokemon. I mean, I think Ursa Ring can kind of learn a move. And now it's going to be time for the most annoying one to evolve out of the three. And that's going to be Ursa Ring, who evolves to Ursa Luna. I believe that's the name. I actually need to progress to this part of the story right here where I get Ursa Luna as one of the Pokemon rides. It's like a slow weird ear mixed with a hidden, hidden item finder. Rawr, there he is. Oh, do I need to fight him? Okay, I gotta fight him first. I'm just gonna send out my Ursa Ring. What's, what's the level difference here? 26. I think I can do this. What is he, normal and ground? And he's also gonna have play rough and all the fun punch moves and things. Ground and normal. The normal doesn't really do anything for you, it just makes you weak to fighting type moves. Fantastic, we can now dig for treasure with Ursa Luna. It's very important that uh, we start immediately searching for this treasure because this, it's funny because Ursa Luna is gonna be the Pokemon who's gonna get you the item that you need to evolve an Ursa Ring to Ursa Luna. Also, all the old verses. Great, I actually didn't want to start digging for those, but I guess that's where one of them is. Let's just go searching. There is no run command with Ursa Luna. Instead, you just need to find treasure. And when Ursa Luna is on a hot streak, it's gonna be like, hey, I think I know where there's treasure. And it gets excited and starts running faster in that direction. But if you're just, you know, going on a streak that's not really doing anything, you just swap, swap over to Weird Ear and then swap back over. Oh, 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 we found something. Oh, we lost it. Lost the scent, found the scent. We're almost there. Oh, oh, almost there. No, yeah, yeah. Real close. I do not like this at all. Gonna get mud from this. Oh, a moonstone. That's neat. Is there Peter sense tingling? Maybe, maybe where, where Big Boy is? No? Wait, are they not targeting me because I'm on Ursa Luna? Oh no, they are. They are. I just didn't say it. I don't think they should target you. I think they should be like, oh yeah, that's Ursa Luna. Let's just let him be. You know, I thought the game would have planted one here. Just, just wanted to let you know, this is only the first half of what you have to do to get the evolution. The second half, I don't know if it's more... Uh, annoying or less annoying or just equally annoying. But bottom line is, this is not a fun evolution to do. It's really not. Let's head from the diamond settlement. By the way, you can unlock this fast travel point. I think I just walked in the middle of town. Like I accepted the Psyduck medicine quest, although I didn't resolve it. Actually, I could resolve it right now. You just need to go talk to someone and then you have the secret medicine. Oh, we're on, we're on the track of something. Candy truffles, next to a tree, that makes sense. Yes, peat block, that's exactly the item we needed. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work for you, but I found it right here at the Brava Arena. 
at this one little dead end with nothing here. You know what? I think I got it here on my other playthrough as well. You might be lucky to find it here as well. So now, let's go to camp, because we gotta do a annoying thing again. <laughs> Ursa Ring evolves to Ursa Luna while using a peat block during a full moon. You have to be in the Crimson Bog, and we just need to sleep. When you wake up, you actually can't see the moon because it hasn't risen yet, crescendoed. Insert astrology term here. But you actually don't even need that. You can actually just hover over the peat block and see if Ursa Ring is going to be compatible. If it is a full moon that night, regardless of the weather condition, it'll just say compatible. So let's just go ahead and sleep and check again. Number two, nope. Number three, nope. Number four, nope. Number five, nope. Number six, yes. Great. Right now it's a full moon. It's a rainy night. The moon is not going to be visible, but just like that, I just woke up and we're able to use it. I'm curious, how many more days do I need to go in order for another full moon? I doubt they would make it 28, right? 28 days is a full lunar cycle. I slept and I could do it again. Maybe it does, there's a full moon for two or three days and then it goes into the eight different phases of the moon and now it's not compatible. So it was compatible for two days. I'm, I'm just gonna sleep more and test more because I just wanna know this. This, this is how my brain works. This is this is how I enjoy video games. It actually is. All right, so I slept a bunch of times and I marked down all the times that it said no, and then it said yes. And it seems like I have two days of full moon, and then it goes two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 days of not full moon. I thought they would have done like two days of full moon, two days of a waxing gibbous, two days of third quarter, two days of waxing crescent, two days of new moon, two days of waxing crescent, two days of first quarter, two days of waxing gibbous, and then back to two days of full moon. Wait, is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Oh, that's exactly what they did. <laughs> so yeah, they basically took our real lunar cycle and they only made it two thirds. So for two days, you do have a full moon and then it takes and then it's two days for each of the next seven phases of the lunar cycle and then two days back at the full moon. By the way, while I was testing this, I looked up the, the words so I could say the words properly. Now, I do want to let you know there is a side quest later in the game, much later. I think it's in the 50s or something. You're going to want to know this now. And it requires seeing cliff fairies dancing under moonlight. Now, you have to wait until you see a full moon in order to know that it's a full moon, or if you have an Ursa Ring and a Peat Block, you can actually just check if Ursa Ring is able to evolve, and that could be the night that you go and do the Clefairy Dancing Under Moonlight quest. So it's your option on if you want to do this evolution now, or if you want to hold it off for later. I'm going to go ahead and evolve my shiny Ursa Ring to Ursa Luna. Oh, I just realized its tummy is a big empty circle. I guess to symbolize like a new moon, right? And then Ursa Luna has the full moon. Oh, it's crimson colored. Oh, you also need to be in the crimson bog when you do this. I didn't know it was gonna be crimson colored. Oh, I love that so much. Hang on, I need to go get a regular one and compare them now. I'm on one. <laughs> Actually, I wanna see if that same one location is always going to get me a peat block. Party grains. Okay, so if I save in the same place and reload, I get the same item. So I'm going to assume that when you load the map in, it's going to automatically generate the item that's going to be diggable. So I managed to get myself a second peat block uh, with digging with Ursa Luna. I'm pro I might make a guide on you know the like a good item farming route with Ursa Luna if, if that if that has some interest in there. But let's go ahead and evolve with this peat block, this Ursa Ring because it's still a, uh, still a full moon and I'm still in the Crimson Bog. So let's throw out my shiny one and let's throw out the alpha. Really? That's the alpha? That's not much bigger. Oh. I guess I threw it very far away. Because yes, that is much bigger. And what about mine? Mine is definitely not alpha sized. Mine is pretty much the same size as my shiny is. So, yeah, there we go. Just just all the boys hanging out. We got the treasure one, <laughs> we got the shiny one, and we got the alpha one. Just 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 me and my and my and my big my big full moon bears hanging out. Oh, 
The facial features are even lighter than it is on here. I really like this shiny. I'm not too crazy about a bunch of the shinies, but this one, granted, you know, red's my favorite color, but this one is quality. So there you go, everyone. That's how you're gonna be getting yourself the brand new Hisuian Gudra, the brand new Hisuian Lilligant, and the brand new Ursa Luna in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Well guys, hope you found this video helpful. Just a friendly reminder, if you ever see one of those little polls pop up here on YouTube, be sure to fill it out because I actually read those and that helps me influence what I do for thumbnails and videos going forward, great. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications as we just hit 1.9 million subscribers and I think it'd be fantastic by Valentine's Day, get to two mil. Uh, it's a little bit of a stretch goal, but that'd be magical. So if you're if you if you found these videos helpful, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Until next time, Austin John out.